There's a transformation coming in logistics. Over the last decade, global demand for instant delivery has skyrocketed, but the technology we're using to deliver is 100 years old. We're still using the same 3,000 pound gas combustion vehicles driven by humans to make billions of deliveries that usually weigh less than five pounds. This is slow, it's expensive, and it's terrible for the planet. Our customers are now using Zipline not just to save lives, but also to reduce emissions, to increase economic opportunity, and provide new logistic services at national scale. But while we've been scaling this first system globally, we've also been quietly building our next generation platform. Today, we're announcing Zipline's home delivery service. Soon, people will be able to press a button on their phone and moments later have their order magically delivered to their doorstep or backyard. Our goal for this new service is to feel like teleportation. To make the best delivery experience, in addition to always being on time and delivering exactly where you want it, it's just as important that the delivery is unnoticeable. And to us, that means quiet. So quiet, in fact, that right now, the zip is actually hovering above me. At the same height, it'll be when it makes a delivery, and you can barely hear it. Drones that you won't even notice in our world is how we design at Zipline. We design for the world we want to live in. We're now in the phase of development. We're working on the production intent design that will ultimately be used all around the world. In our lives, we're constantly asked to choose between speed and sustainability. Imagine if we did not need to compromise. Zips are small, fully electric, and fly directly to their destination. That means that for the same environmental impact of making a single order with a gas car, Zipline could make 34 deliveries. We produce 97% fewer emissions to deliver that same meal. Hundreds of Zipline engineers are putting years of work into building systems that last. We test every single part rigorously in simulation and in the real world, from the zips in the sky to the ducks on the ground. We do this so things like extreme weather don't get in the way of long lifetimes. The communities we serve need to be able to rely on us even in extreme environments, to deliver what they need safely. We build safety into every aspect of our service, from design to delivery. We see this throughout our business. What that means is redundant systems where redundancies are meaningful, safety features where those redundancies may fail, training where people are involved, and thoughtful processes that keep everything working together smoothly. Our next generation platform will enable us to operate with the precision needed to fly safely into more complex environments over more highly populated areas. Focusing on this next generation product, what do you think that will enable in terms of healthcare access and economic growth? A lot. If we believe we can change things and move as fast as we can to where others are, is is serving well society. At Michigan Medicine, we are really proud to work together with Zipline to begin transporting everything from lab samples to prescriptions, and both of those from our facilities right to our patients' homes. I'm standing inside one of my favorite salad places for many years, Sweet Green. Tell us about your vision of how Zipline can help uh, serve Sweet Green. We're excited to work together and make our first delivery via the Zipline Marketplace and bring provide access to healthy food to more people around the country. The future of delivery for Sweet Green is faster, more affordable, broader access, and more sustainable. Today's announcement of Zipline's home delivery service is the next step in our mission to build the world's first logistics system that serves all humans equally. Earlier today, I talked about this crazy idea of magical portals and teleportation. This may sound like science fiction, but very soon our partners will actually be using Zipline to deliver to homes across the countries we serve. We've been putting up with slow, expensive, gas-guzzling delivery for too long. It's time to build the logistics system of the future for everyone.